Did you ever have something that just bugs you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> and this thing's bugging me. It, it, I walk by this and I go, I must be making a math there. There's one part of it that just bugs me the most. If I get to Sierra City by July 7th, I have to walk 31 miles a day, five days a week, and then a narrow, say, 16 to make it to trail days. You've got to be kidding me. That, that can't be right. So I've, I've worked out the math. I went through it from step one. If I'm, if you think I'm wrong on these uh, math figures somewhere, please share. But uh, let me just recap real quick. 2,650 miles. If you cut them up into nice big chunks like uh, uh, this, then it turns out it, it's about 132 miles a week to walk it in five months. That's what everybody says that, that they do, right? Five months. Maybe five months a week. <laughs> Close enough. So I'm just assuming that the Washington part is stable at about 130 miles a week, 125, 130. So I'm not worrying about that. Um, this is where it gets very variable because when you arrive at just Sierra City, dictates how many days you have left to get to Cascade Locks. So perfectly, you know, this column is like what's perfect. If you do 132 miles a week, every week, banging it out perfectly, these are the dates, and I check those again, and I even <laughs> use a date, uh, a date between dates calculator. Can't get better than that. <laughs> so um, 132 miles a week, 132, 132, 132 miles a week. So it would take you about 51 days to go from Sierra City to Cascade Locks at 132 miles per week. So that's, that's about 24 miles a day, Monday through Friday. Saturday, you take a 12 day, 12 miles narrow, row, and then Sunday, you take a zero, okay? Uh, going through the, from just Kennedy Meadows to Sierra City would take about 26 days and about 132 miles per week. So even though there's snow and everything, you're still banging it out. And to go through the entire desert would take you 38 days at 132 miles a week. Okay, that, that seems pretty straightforward. Um, so, so it's the same going through Washington, and it ends up being, if it just takes you a month instead of 26 days, okay, it just took you a month, so, so that brought you down to 125 miles per week through the Sierras, or, you know, through the snow from Kennedy Meadows to just, just Sierra City, 20, uh, 120, so you're down to 125 per week, which is still a pretty darn good speed to go through, uh, the, basically the John Muir Trail. So, so, and that's, um, and I went back and I recalculated between doing it perfectly and ramping it up, and you both get there the same day. Um, so if you start on it just April 19th um, instead of April 25th, um, and that way you get to annual day zero um, on the 20th, and you ramp up and do 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, and another 25, 25 miles a day times five, Nero, zero, okay? Uh, get you to just Kennedy Meadows on the same day. That's, so somebody's worked this out before because that's why annual day zero is April 20th. I feel like one of those movies where, you know, like pie, where, where you just can't get it out of your head. What I can't get out of my head is how are people doing this? I've only met a few people who, who were doing 30s every day for 5.8 weeks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so it must be that people are just getting to here or to here on just August 16th. You know, but, but let's just kind of work that out. So this is perfectly, this is, if it takes you four weeks to get through the, uh, from, just, from just Community Meadows to Sierra City, and this is if it takes you five weeks to get through Kennedy Meadows to Sierra City. If it takes you six weeks, I don't even want to look at that. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Um, yeah, if it takes you six weeks, you're going to be doing uh, 35 miles a day. You know, It's not that it's magical to go to this party. What's magical is to get here before you get dumped on with snow. That's that's the deal. I mean, I could really, I don't think I'm probably ever going to go to the annual trail days. But uh, what I do want to do is, is kind of work out this math. So to kind of go across the board, to go from just Sierra City to just Cascade Locks, it's about 995 miles, it, and that's to do it perfectly is 51 days. If you're a, a bit late, you've only got 47 days to complete this journey. And if you're doing the five weeks through that to Sierras, you've only got 41 days to go 1,000 miles, basically. That's why, that's why it's uh, weird. So it's weird that when I listen to backpacker podcast, people are talking about 19 or 20 mile days and they're claiming to a through hike and the two don't kind of jive. How can you do 20 miles a day and do the whole thing? I guess one way would be to be willing to be up here in October. I guess that will turn it into a 20 mile per day trail. Uh, one way would be to, to skip large sections like that. I guess that would turn it into a 20 mile per day trail. And I guess the third way would be to almost take no zeros, just, just go into town, get your stuff and get back on the trail. 
but with the amount of partying that goes on, I don't see that happening. So I, I don't know. Which brings me back to the first point that it's only 12.9% of PCT hikers finish the trail out of 3,975. I forget the number, something like, like that. So 4,000. And I think we talked about before that I would bet you 2,000 have dropped off after this point. So 2,000 go forward, and if only 500 make it up to the border, then another 1,500 drop out somewhere. Uh, and I can see why, you know, you just get to where it just seems like, God, you'd be uh, going up, up, up here on like October 15th or October 30th. Uh, I guess you could do it with snowshoes and, you know, crampons and, mom, and you know, uh, winter backpacking equipment. I don't think most, most folks are ready for that. So then the thought would be to just start sooner, you know, April 1st, March 15th. But then you, you, you always run into this roadblock of just hitting the snow way early. You know, I, I, I don't know what else the answer is other than walk faster. <laughs> Getting back to my first thing, it's a long way. You don't have much time to do it. So hopefully I uh, am done figuring this out. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. I don't want to think about it. I don't care. I'm going to walk as far and as fast as I can. And if that's better than most, that's great. And if it's worse than most, I don't care. Um, so I'm just out there to have fun. So maybe this, uh, you know, completes your knowledge of my other time that's trail. I hope that helps somebody. We'll see you on the trail, I hope.